Hi everyone, and welcome back to episode 7 of Alice and Kev. We ended the last part with Kevin or Kev wanting to share something with Alice, and I can tell you, it's not something he just forgot to mention to her. Like, it's not a small detail or something. Because um, he is going to tell her something very important. So let me just unpause this. So Kevin sat Alice down, and he wants to tell her... Wait a minute, I have to change the audio settings because the sound and the voices and everything is way too loud um, I think this is enough so he's telling her like um, I need to tell you something uh, I've never been honest to you about why we lived the way we lived and um, yeah basically I kidnapped you I took you from your mother and Alice is like wait what and he's like your mom is not dead because I took you as a toddler and well I basically just kidnapped you because um, your mom cheated on me your mom cheated on me and I was so angry that I took from her what was most loved by her and she cared a lot about you and because she hurt me that much I wanted to hurt her as much as she hurt you know she hurt me and the only thing that I could do to hurt her as much was to take you away from her I was so angry and so mad and I was kind of jealous of the way she loved you and I felt so much anger that the only way I could have my revenge was to take away from her what she loved the most. You. So Alice is just looking at her father like, are you serious? She's just trying to let it sink in because she cannot believe what he just told her. She's like, dad, are you serious? What? Oh my God. And he's like, yeah. And, um... Your real name is not Alice, basically. And my name is not Kev. Your real name is Aaliyah and mine is Kevin. So Alice is left speechless and uh, <laughs> trying to take in everything that her father just told her. So um, Alice, let's see, she has to go. No, 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 no. She has to go to school or to work in seven hours, so she does have a little bit, a little bit of time. But her time in jail is almost over, and she has to go because visiting hours are over. And before she leaves, she's like, "Dad, okay." Um, she doesn't really know how to react to all of this because she just heard her mother is still alive. Like that's kind of a big deal, and. There are so many emotions going through her body and head right now. Like, she just can't, you know, she just can't handle. She just can't cope with what she just heard. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, say goodbye. But before she says goodbye, she's going to ask him about... Um, <clears throat> she's going to ask him about her mother. She's going to ask him if she, if he has any details uh, on her mom. Like, what's her name and where did we live or where does she live? Do you know where she lives? Do you know where she is? So I can maybe go and find her. She's like, what? And he's like, yeah, of course I do. I have everything on a note. I wrote it down and I'm very, very sorry for how things worked out for us. So he hands her a note. He's, uh, he hands her a note and um, let's see, let's say goodbye. Come on. Yeah. Um, well, not friendly because she's kind of pissed off. I don't know. She doesn't know how to feel exactly because she is like, is he lying to me? Because she knows him as a manipulative liar and he's very mean, or he was very mean at least. And now she's like, is he even talking the truth? Is he lying to me? What is he doing right now? So, um, let's see, where is the 
Where is V? Well, maybe she has to stand up. Um. see no there's no only in friendly like oh maybe when he stands up no don't go do that wait a second mean maybe she's gonna argue with him about uh, everything she just heard and she's gonna call him a liar and she's gonna tell him like I don't know if you're lying or this is the truth or I don't know what to think you know she's just gonna tell him and uh, we'll see what happens so she's gonna argue with him and she's telling him like uh, I don't know whether this you're telling me like if it's true or not because you have been very mean to me in the past and I don't know like if my mom is still alive how could you do that to me and he understands that she's very angry and he's like okay <laughs> if Alice keeps being inappropriate she will have to leave well we're leaving anyway you know and you're the one who lie to us like this is not a, a small lie or something it's like a very big lie like okay bye so she has a note um her father wrote down the address where they lived at the time um where alice was born basically and uh, she found out that her real name isn't even alice it's alia but um and now she knows and she knows her last name um she doesn't the last name she has now is not the last name she, um, uh, her real last name. Because her father had to go, like, undercover. He made new IDs, he, and he told her mother, like, if you are coming after us, and if you try to find her, I will, you know, do something to this child. Like, he's, at that point, he wasn't even certain if that was his child, so he was just... He was so angry and um, because, you know, he's insane and this is what I think insane people do. They abduct children from their mother. They take children away from their mothers. And now after all these years, Alice has never heard anything about her mom. And if she wanted to talk to her father about her mother, he did not, you know, he didn't want that. He didn't want to talk about her mother and... Um, so uh, I think I'm gonna head home. I'm gonna let her head home first of all. Let's go. I, I don't know if she, yes, I changed the door, right? Like she can go through that door. No, I thought I changed that door because <coughs> I had some issues with this door that people that sims cannot go through this door it's meant to keep the inmates in prison but so like this yeah i think she should be able to go through it right uh, now go home yeah there she goes so she's gonna go home and think about this and her father uh, gave Alice a picture because Alice has never seen her mom. She has never seen her mom because her father told her that he didn't have any pictures and he apparently did. So he gave her a picture of what her mother looked like at the time and he really wants to do good this time. He wants Alice to find her mom and to be okay because he had a lot of time to think uh, in jail. And he thought about everything and he was like, this is not right. I withheld her from her mom and I took her and so many years have passed and she grew up without a mother and with me being homeless. So he really feels guilty about everything. And he's trying to give Alice, you know, um, he's trying to give her something that she can 
you know, maybe she can get a better life if she finds her mom. Now, he cannot do anything from jail, so he just sent her, and he's not coming out of jail uh, for a while. Um, bill amount 122. Yes, I forgot that we also have to pay bills. We could ask Mrs. Williams if she wants to pay them, but um, I think that was uh, one of Mrs. Williams' conditions. Like, if you have a job, you have to pay for the rent yourself. So, uh, she's trying to get Alice to, you know, to be mature and um, to have responsibilities. And she knows Alice comes from a very, you know, uh, tough... She was in a very tough situation when being homeless and such. But she's trying to not immediately give her everything in life. Like, she has to work for it. So, Alice has work in four hours. Uh, we have to go to work. Let's see. Does she let her go to the bathroom? And she's not going to tell Mrs. Williams anything yet or Malika. She's not going to tell them anything yet about her mom because she is like, oh my God. Like, she has to think about this first. She doesn't even know if her father is telling the truth and if... Kev is her father. Like, she doesn't even know. At this point, she doesn't even know. So, um, let her brush her teeth. Um, and we're gonna eat something. Have lunch, autumn salad. Maybe there are some leftovers. No, cakes like no. Have lunch, autumn salad. <coughs> Sorry. Let's speed this up. Speed it up. And I think, um, Alice is gonna go and travel to the town that her father told her her mother was. No, the carpool will come in an hour. Let her eat something. And um, she's gonna search for her mom. She's determined to search for her mom. She does want to know if her mom is still alive and, you know... She is, one side, she's very, very happy that her mom's still alive, if it's true. And uh, the other side, she, she doesn't even know if she should be angry at Kev. And that's kind of, she doesn't have that energy or the time to be angry. So, let her eat that and we'll get, we'll get to work. Uh, go to work. What is she wearing? Did I pick that for her? No, I did not. I'm very sure I did not pick that out for her. Maybe it's the career clothes or the working clothes. <laughs> Maybe she doesn't want to get tan. She doesn't. She can't. It's it's fall. Why? There's no rain. You're holding an umbrella. What are you doing? Come on. Put away that umbrella. Go to work. Do you want to get yourself fired? Like, what are you doing? Wait, I'm going to reset her. Reset some Alice Finn Diver. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh, this is so bad. This looks so bad. Like, Mrs. Williams is going to be pissed off. She's like, I'm giving you this opportunity to work and you come in late. What are you doing? Yeah, finally. It was some kind of glitch. Well, hurry up. I mean, you have uh, two more hours to go. Mrs. Williams is not going to be pleased with this.
go, 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 go. My god. She has an hour and a half. Her shift is almost over, so I don't know what she's doing, but... Oh well, we're there now. Right? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Well, work hard. Work hard. It's only fair that you work a little bit harder. Heading to the water cooler is usually the highlight of Alice's day at work. However, today when someone faced the nozzle up and it shot water all over her pants, it turned into a nightmare. A winner would never fall for that trick. Yeah, she's not a winner. $25. Like, if she wants to go and visit her mom, she needs, you know, she's, she has got to save up money. Because she has to go with a bus or with a plane. We don't know how far it is. We don't know where her mother lives exactly. So she has to look it up on the internet. And um, we, she has to see the note and see where that place is exactly. And she's very like nervous because she doesn't know her mom will not recognize her. And... She is wondering, like, did my mom ever search for me? Uh, did she know I was alive? And, you know, even that, even though Kev told her, like, I told your mom, like, if she's going to go looking for you, that I would hurt you. And she's like, maybe my mom never looked for me because she was afraid that Kev would do something to me. Let her go inside and eat. We didn't, we didn't buy groceries, did we? Or enough. Like, she does have money right now. Have dinner? No, we didn't. Eat leftovers. Well, deep fried candy bar. No, as dinner. That's tofu dog. She can eat a tofu dog. So, um, yeah, all these thoughts are going through her head. And she's constantly thinking about it. And uh, she saw her mom in a picture. And she got emotional because she was like, Oh, I do look like my mother. You know, she sees that she looks like her mother. And that touches her. And she is, um, you know, she's just thinking of all the time that she missed with her mom. And being with Kev was a struggle for her as a little kid, as a child. <clears throat> so, um, yeah. We got to save up some money so we can travel. I think she has kind of... Let... Let's just say that she has to have 3,000 simoleons before she can go and travel. She ha Yeah, she has to have 3,000 simoleons. Um, she's very tired, so we're gonna get we're gonna get her to bed. She have to work work tomorrow. Mm, 19 hours. Okay, so um. We're going to try to make some more money. She's getting 20 bucks an hour. Mm. And she has to do groceries because I don't think there's anything. No, there is, but she can't make anything because the ingredients are not complete. I have a mod and you have to have all the ingredients for to prepare a certain meal. <coughs> and maybe we can call Malika tomorrow to meet up because we haven't seen Malika in a while. And um, <clears throat> I was just not sure whether she should tell Malika about her mom and what she found. She doesn't know. So we'll see what she does. I will skip this part and then see you in the morning. So here we are again and Alice is up and I think I've been thinking about it and I think that we're gonna make today just a fun day for her like uh, go to the beach and swim a little bit just to get her mind off of everything she just or she heard last night from her father and uh, I want Alice to meet new people like should I I was thinking should I call her Aaliyah or Alice but since we got used to the name Alice we're just gonna keep calling her Alice anyways so um, let's see what her needs are she's hungry obviously that's why she's eating 
leftover tofu dog. So that's what she's gonna eat and then we're gonna just pick a place like this would be perfect. Um, oh, it's it's a, what do you call it? It's a, a bungalow. You can check in. No, we do not want that. We just want to use the beach if we can. Like we have a beach here too. Like we can go here. It doesn't even matter, but let's go here. It's more like a lake kind of thing. But I think just to change things up because I remember them going to that other beach a lot when they um uh when they were homeless. Like am I even or are we even allowed to come here? I don't know. You must check in. Yeah. But I can swim like I can come to the beach, right? I really love it. <laughs> I'm looking at it and I'm like, oh, this place is gorgeous. Let me pause this because it's gorgeous. Look at this. What's this? Beach houses in a house or in a, like, I don't think this was supposed to happen or maybe did or maybe does. But look at this. It's actually very nice. And I think when you have the traveler, uh, traveler mod and you want to uh, go to uh, Storybrook County as a, a vacation destination, you can. And look at this. They have a little wedding arch and everything. Like, it's cute. Like, well, we could have uh, Alice get married here one day. You never know. You never know what happens. Um let us I think we're gonna go there with Malika if she is it's a Saturday so it's totally a chill day today we're gonna chill um we're gonna let her eat and ring Malika see if she wants to go out for a little while like they've been they've both been kind of busy can you go here I don't know if you have to check in immediately if you go there well let's just um, I'm, I'm not, I'm not certain. I want to go to another place, like not the places that we have been to, even though there are not very, you know, there are not a lot of places that we've been to. Um, no, somewhere a little bit more fun. Well, let's just go to the beach then, like here, the regular beach. Doesn't matter. As long as we're having fun, it's okay. And she can chat a little bit to Malika and um, with Malika, and maybe she's gonna tell her about her mom, about what her father told her. Sure, that sounds like fun. Let's meet there, okay? And that's what we want. And Malika and her haven't been talking for a little while, so um, they have a lot of catching up to do. Um, they both know, like, uh, they're. They're busy. Malika is busy uh, with school and, uh, you know, focusing on school. So she's super busy. And Alice, you know, she's doing her thing. But um, does she have to work today? I didn't even check. I hope not. Oh, in nine hours. And she cannot. It's, it's weird because she cannot call in sick. But, you know, it's Malika's mom. So she's going to know that she's not actually sick. So that sucks. But, mm, yeah. Let's just enjoy these a few hours before she has to go to work. Where's Malika? She's going to meet up with her. Oh my god, a lot of wild horses in here. I really need to take care of some things. No, I think I'm going to head... No, you're not going anywhere. That's so rude. I mean, we just met up here. Just don't... Go Oh, poor Alice. She's like crying to Malika. She's like, oh, Malika, it's I don't know what to do anymore. Like, my dad just told me that my mom is still alive. And, and Malika's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down. What? She's like, yeah, uh, dad told me that my mom is alive. And he kidnapped me when I was a little girl. And, and oh, it's it's just getting too much. Poor Alice. Poor Alice. So she's going to talk a little bit to Malika. 
And uh, Malik is like, you know, whatever it is, I'm going to try to help you out. We're going to sort this out. We're going to find your mom. Uh, if she's still alive, we're going to find her. And uh, I'm going to be there for you. And Alice is very, oh, my God. What are you doing? Oh, my God. Oh, we did not. Oh, poor her. Oh, gross. <laughs> That's actually very gross. Oh, my God. I'm going to, she's embarrassed. Let's um, see if we can uh, calm her down. <laughs> Start snubbing Malika? What's that? Like like being a bitch to her? I don't know. I don't even know. Like s a snob? No, it's snubbing. Well, I don't want to... I don't want to click that. Well, I don't know wh what that is. Just be friendly. Uh, brighten day. Um... Ask about her, ask, ask how she feels, and maybe we should just, uh, mm -mm 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 -mm. we're going to ask her if she is still single, because we haven't seen her in a while, and uh, we want to know if she maybe is dating someone, or... We just want to know. Oh, poor her. Look at her. <laughs> she is so embarrassed. I, I would be embarrassed. I mean, who does that? <laughs> only in The Sims. Only in The Sims. Well, not really only in The Sims. Like, true story. <laughs> I'm going to pause this for a second. Because I never had this happen to me. Like, this was the first time ever. Like, one time have, has to be the first time. But <clears throat> I was in this store, in this drugstore, and I was buying some stuff. And then a man, a man came into the store. Uh, he walked into that store and um, he looked at some stuff. And then he started looking around. He started looking around him. And I was like, what is he doing? And then I just saw that his pants was getting wet and I saw a puddle of excuse my language piss on the ground and I was like oh my god did he just pee on his himself I could not believe it like this never happened to me and right then and there it was a grown man like he was 50 or something and I felt you know, I felt kind of sad for him. I felt bad for him because I'm like, ooh, maybe he's, you know, um, how do you say that? Like not disabled? Yeah, maybe mentally. I don't know how to say that. He's, maybe he's mentally a little bit, you know, disabled and, um, or I don't know how you say that. But maybe there's something wrong with him and that was just so sad. I was like, I was trying not to laugh or... No, I didn't want to laugh, but ju I just, I just looked the other way because I don't, I didn't want him to feel embarrassed because he was, uh, he was saying to, uh, a girl that worked there, he said, he was like, oh my God, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I really had to go to the toilet and, and there was no toilet in sight and I couldn't, I couldn't stop it. And he, he just fled, like he, he, he fled away. He fled. And I was like, oh, so sad. But, you know, yes, I did have this happen to me. No, not to me, to someone else. But I witnessed it. <laughs> so let's go on with The Sims. Um, so she's brightening day, the, her day because she feels sad for her that she peed her pants. Um, and they're going to chat a little bit. She's going to ask her how she feels and asks, ask her if she's still single. I hope she stays because, yeah, she's asking her, right? I don't know. I have this glitch. Oh, she's embarrassed. What? Why is she angry? She's telling her she's embarrassed. So she's going to ask her, do you, <laughs> did you already meet someone like, you know, do you have a boyfriend or we haven't been talking for a little while. So maybe, you know, how's your love life? And Malik is like, nope, I'm still single. 
I'm still single and ready to mingle. So she doesn't have anyone in her life. Like she's like, yeah, well, I've got to tell you, there is this boy that I like. And uh, maybe, just maybe it will become something more than just friendship. But we'll have to see that. So I think I'm going to have them... Uh, are we a group? Because I disabled the icon thingies above their heads. You know, where you can see that they're a group or... Um, no, form a group. Because I want to do stuff together. I think if you form a group that you can do stuff together, right? Like if I do something, she'll do too. Or is that just in The Sims 4? <laughs> I don't know. I like that concept though. Like, you know, you do, you're really doing something with an entire group. So... Is she asking her? Yeah. How many, how much time do I have left to go? Six hours. Um, okay. They're forming a group now. Let's see if we can. Oh, you can swim here with Malika. It's okay. I'd love to hang out. Where do you go for fun? Well, to the beach. We're already there, and maybe, you know, I'm jumping in the water. Maybe you can clean up yourself a little bit. Just saying. Just saying. Um, are you going to do something? Oh, Malika, you're kind of dressed. Well, I have to change that. i like you to be more covered up. Ugh, oh, my ear is hurting. Like this headphone is kind of tight around my ear. What are you doing? Oh, yeah. Like go swim. Like look at how beautiful this looks. I love it. I love The Sims 3 for the open world and for every... Everything's just so beautiful. Like it's super, super, super beautiful. Like can we, can we do games or something? Oh my god. There are just fish swimming near us. <coughs> I'm sorry. Um, yeah, have some fun. This is what we do for fun. Look at this reflective water. I love it. I love The Sims 3 so much. And I love it so much better than The Sims 4. As for now, just because it's an open world and it just, it feels different. It really feels different. Use all in one bathroom. Well, maybe Malika should do that too. Somebody in this group has some unresolved issues. I think I'll get out of here before the fighting starts. Hanging out with you really beats going solo. Please give me a call anytime to chill. I don't get it. Like the first sentences are kind of negative and then she says hanging out with you really beats going solo. Please give me a call anytime to chill. But first she says, somebody in this group has some unresolved issues. I think I'll get out of here before the fighting starts. Like we're just the two of us, you know. I don't know. I don't know what you want. Like and then you're still staying. <laughs> I don't know. What's going on? Few individuals have experienced an ad go outing. So excellent, so delightful, so what? Titillating? As the one just concluded. Well, that's uh, a lot of fun. Well, it's starting to rain. Get out of the water. Get out of the water, Malika. Please. And this. Look, I'm going to see. Maybe she's stuck. I don't know. I'm, I've been getting so it's all sorts of glitches these days. Malika, get out of the water. Like, maybe if I call her over. And if that doesn't work, I'm just going to cheat a little bit. I'm going to select her because I have this one. And I can select her if I want to. I love my mods. Just, just so you know, I love my mods and my CC. I really love them. I cannot play The Sims 3 without them. So, you know, if my game doesn't work with my CC, I just feel like rather not playing at all. Helping her with her homework. Yeah, well, that would be nice. Let's go over to her place. You, uh, Ella starts work in four hours. Help with homework. Uh, can I not just call her over? 
Um, let's see what she does. If she gets out of the water. I think she's stuck. I don't know. It's just the idea that I get from this, yes. Let's just select her and see what's going on. Oh, no, 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 no. What did I do? And I think this is going on for so long, but um, I filmed the part before she went to sleep, like uh, in the afternoon or in the, I don't know how I'd say it. No, not the afternoon. Yeah, no, not the afternoon. Um, like at one o'clock, one thirty, when the twins were in bed, I filmed the first part, but I felt like I was not really in, you know, in my zone. I'm just getting in my zone right now, so I just want to play and I want to film as much as possible. So maybe this is going to be an extra long episode. Like this is Malika. Oh, they hit their baby. Oh, I didn't know. Or did I? No, I didn't know. Raven. Such a beautiful name. It's a girl. It's a, She's so cute. Look at that. And that's CC. Like the dress is CC. I love it. I love it. Oh, I love it. Why never? I turned aging on, didn't I? Good to see, but I turned aging on, right? Oh, no, I didn't. <laughs> Enable aging. Yes, please. Um, so they weren't aging. Um, she's stuck, I guess. I don't know. No, she's not stuck. Like, let's have her ask Alice over to her house. Like, where? where's Alice? Here. Is her hygiene up already? I don't know. Yeah, a little bit. Is that because of the swimming? I don't think swimming makes your hygiene go up, but... Um... You can't... You, oh, she has to get out of the water before she can... Is she out already? Raven cannot be left home alone. She needs a baby to call a babysitter. Of course. Well, hurry up. Where are you? If you're stuck. Oh my god, she's stuck. I guess she's stuck. Oh no. <laughs> I, I had the game on pause. So stupid. <laughs> don't mind me where is Alice here she is maybe I can uh, invite her over to our place mm -mm 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 -mm. friendly um. no she can't well it doesn't matter. She's going home. Alice is going. Um, I'm going to select Alice. Oh, wait. We can look. We can see in the relationship panel which guy she was talking about. Because she was talking. Look at this romantic interest. And she's telling us, like, no, we don't have a boy. Well, it, and now basically, it's not her boyfriend. But, you know, she has a romantic interest. And this is him. Topher. Topher, is that how you say it? Topher Baker, is that how you pronounce it? Topher. Topher Baker. Yeah, well, we'll have to... Um, we'll have to uh, get into this a little later. We're going to focus on Alice, because I think Alice is ready to meet someone too. She has been all uh, by herself for this time, and I think she is kind of ready to meet someone to hang out with since Malika is also very busy with her life and everything um maybe maybe we have to go we have to say bye to Malika I think I want to give her a friend oh oh Malika is out out she's gone <laughs> she went home now I just wanted to say goodbye to her the carpool is coming in an hour well, she has to go and work. Work, 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 work. Right. 
<laughs> she's hungry poor girl like we have to go and get some groceries we have to fill up the fridge i want alice to get her own place but she has to save up some money for that i try to because i already built a house for her basically but um like it's very expensive and she tried i tried to make it a rental but i i couldn't really figure out how to do that i set it to an apartment lot but it, it, it didn't work oh my god she can't even have a quick meal have di dinner no well just open some uh, eat something like eat carrots or something i don't know just eat something eat eat the carrots you <laughs> the poor girl <laughs> like it's it's okay it's healthy you know like the carpool is not coming in an hour yeah well get to work go to work and then try to work hard so maybe you'll get a promotion i don't know if teenagers actually get a promotion she's aging up in 12 days we have enough time to do to do stuff so we'll uh, get her to work why is this bar already going like her shift started and she's always late she has to go to the other, other side of town so phew, we have to be prepared for this like she can't be late every single time she can't So, I'm going to let Alice work, and if she's done working, I'll be back with you guys. So, I decided that, um, to wrap up this part right here, because it has been going on for a little while, and um, I do not know what happened right here, because she was, she had 2,000-something, and all of a sudden, when she was at work, I saw this turning, or, or I did not notice immediately but when I looked at the funds I saw 3,000 so I'm not very sure what happened and where that money came from but uh, because she just earned um, uh, $45 with her shift like the work she's doing she earned $45 so I'm, I'm not really certain what happened here but we'll figure that out um, so thank you again for watching and I hope I can post some uh, videos regularly, but, um, yeah, uh, we're gonna, next time we're gonna have to, I think we're gonna meet some new people or get to know, uh, get to know some people better and make new friends, uh, try to chill and to enjoy life a little bit like she is in a good place right now and she just want to she just wants to um she's still thinking about her mom and she's like i've got to find her i want to find her but that's something for a little later just i want her to be relaxed like she's super stressed out like strained <laughs> she's super stressed out and she just needs to chill she needs to chill so next time we're gonna um, i think we're gonna give alice a makeover too yeah well we'll have to see but thanks for watching and uh please comment i like to read comments and please let me know what you think or what you think this story has to go to like what 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 um like ids and suggestions uh what we can do i do have you know i do have stuff written down to you know the main things that i want to go to and where i want to take this story but uh if you have any suggestion suggestions or ideas i would love to hear them um yeah and uh subscribe to my uh channel if you want if you like these videos more will be coming and um yeah to my instagram and see you all next time bye bye